Welcome back to Thrifted Living, my name is Kieran. Today I would like to share with you the 170th video in my thrifting and thrift haul series. I found this absolutely beautiful picnic cover. I think these are so much fun and I already have a couple of them in our home. These glasses are giving 90s Pizza Hut vibes. I'm always tempted by the vintage glassware and I saw some really beautiful strawberry and apple glasses. I thought they were really interesting. I then saw several of these bowls. I have no idea what they're used for, but I thought they had an interesting shape. And then a whole set of matching serving dishes. One of the thrift stores I went to had a huge selection of gold items. I don't know what they were from and I'm not exactly sure how I would use them, but I thought they were so pretty. I really liked these gold mirrors as well. Then I saw a really cool lipstick organizer, I think. I'm honestly not sure what this next item was used for, so if you guys know, please leave it in the comments. I'm very curious. And I always want to buy these plastic bins for my classroom. I saw a great selection of holiday decorations, and I did buy a lot of decorations over the Christmas season, but it's still nice to see some fun ones now. I really liked this tree. I think it's kind of like an advent tree, but I didn't buy it. And then I saw this light. It was so cool and so pretty, but part of it had been melted, I think. And I've been loving finding Christmas lights and just outdoor lights to use in our home. As I've said, I've been trying to find more holiday decorations, and so I found this Valentine's Day wreath that I thought was pretty, and then I also saw several different St. Patrick's Day items, but I did not buy them because they weren't half off, but I've been trying to find all different types of decor for different seasons. I think this is funny. I wonder if it's for, like, leashes and collars. And then I saw a unicorn. I found several different items for crafting. I saw these small wreath forms and I thought they'd be a great addition to my crafting supplies. I also saw a lot of glitter glue. I was so tempted, but I didn't buy any. I have a lot of it in my classroom already. Then I saw this bag of crafting items and I was really tempted to buy it just to see what was inside, but I decided not to. And I've also been really enjoying finding crafting books and I have a whole selection of those in my craft room. I hope to start working through those soon. I really like finding the crafting books that are dedicated to different seasons and different holidays and I also like finding the books that are about like taking everyday items and then repurposing them. I have a book that's all about like making fun decor on your clothing so I really want to try that book very soon. Then there was a whole section of fabric. I didn't buy anything from that though. And then I saw a bag of something. I didn't know what it was but I think it's actually used for like the seats of some types of chairs. This is another crafting section that I love to look through because I always find some treasures in here. In addition to crafting books, I'm always really interested in crafting machines too, like this right here. I think it was like a friendship bracelet maker. So I love all of those fun machines and different crafting books. And then these were a bag of wands and I kind of wanted to get them for my classroom, but the glitter was all over the place. And then I found some crayons. I think I also found several bags of markers and I actually got them from my classroom. I like these markers because they're not a full size marker and I think that the selection that they had at the thrift store is great and it was funny because I was able to find three bags of these markers and then I went back like a week later and I found another separate bag of them as well. I also saw this box of crafting items. I don't quite know what it was used for though and I saw these absolutely beautiful curtains. They are so so pretty. I love the style. Then I found this toolbox that I was thinking I could use it for crafting in some way. I decided to not get it, but it definitely inspired me. I've also been looking at picture frames and different binders. I have a lot of photos that I want to organize and I've been trying to find some different photo albums. And I always love looking at that section anyway in the thrift store just because you find some cool stuff. Sean found some blank VHS tapes that were actually new in the package. Then we found some toys. This was like a puzzle type thing. And I don't know, it was vintage, it was really cool. I didn't buy it, but you could like take the different puzzle pieces and interchange them, which I thought was cool. And then I found this vintage little Tykes car that I definitely bought. And I also found some little foam letters as well that I've actually brought to my classroom already. There were some shoes that caught my eye as well, and I love the sparkly ones as you can see here. And I just saw some different patterns that I hadn't seen before. These ones felt very like 2010 to me. I love that. And I also had a pair of these before, but they were not my size. I was hoping these were my size, but they were not. I also loved these red sneakers. 
In the part of the store with furniture, I saw some great items, but the find of the day, possibly the find of the year, was an amazing wicker shelf. I am so excited to have this. I have been looking for something like this for years. I just got home from the thrift store and I wanted to share with you some of the items that I found. The first thing is this dog carrying bag. It's so cute. It's in really great condition and it has this like mesh part right here and then the little spot for the dog to sit. Ooh, it's really, really fluffy. And I would, I think this is probably too attached to the collar, but we are going to be taking Pip different places, like to the vet and things like that. And she doesn't really like the harness and the collar. She doesn't do well on it at all. I mean, the harness and the leash. So I thought maybe we'll still have the collar and everything on her, but I thought this could be nice for carrying her in and out of the vet. And I think she'll look so cute in it. So it was $13 and a half off and it's just, it's really great condition. This is super, super soft. I can't wait to see what she looks like in it and I hope she likes it. I'm getting ready for Christmas with this super cute reindeer candle stand. It feels very like Pottery Barn to me and just very like high end. It was only a dollar actually and it has this velvet on the bottom. There is not a mark from where it came from. I think it's like sophisticated looking. So you can put four candles in it and it's actually pretty heavy too. So I thought this was a great deal for only a dollar. A few of these curtain sets. I love the detail on the bottom. Look at how pretty that is. I actually want to take the fabric and use it for making sleeves for a shirt or adding to a bottom, the bottom of a pair of pants to kind of make it like bell bottoms. It's just so simple and so pretty. And the whole set, I think I got like five or six of them, was $7 and a half off. Oh wait, so it was $7. It ended up being about $7 altogether for all of them, but it's just so pretty and delicate. I absolutely love the edge of it. I also found a few more bags of lights. So this is a set of snowflakes and they are battery operated. I actually brought a tree from my mom's house to my classroom and I've been putting battery operated lights on it. So I was thinking for next year when it's the winter, I can put these on the tree just so it's a little more like seasonally themed. And they were $3 and half off, but they're just cute little snowflakes. And there are two, I believe two different sets of them in here. So I'm excited to use those in my classroom. Holiday lights are pretty much my favorite thing to find right now. I've been collecting all different types of holiday lights to use for all different holidays in the year. We have some lights up right now for Easter. We had lights up for St. Patrick's Day. So here is another set of lights. Here's an example of them like on a tree. I think they could actually be really cool just like as wall lights. And I don't know what year they were made, but I am excited to have them, see if they work. And they were only $1.50. I also found two boxes of garland lights. I have not seen these before, but look at how cool they are. They're bunched together and they're almost in like a rope shape. And we have a staircase that I've been wanting to decorate for a while. Look at how pretty it looks on the stairs, but I'm thinking of using it with garland and, you know, bows and things like that for the holidays. I mean, I could really use it for any type of season, just, you know, sort of decorate the stairway, but they were each $4 and a half off. So I just haven't seen this style before. I think, I think it's really, really interesting. There's one more thing I would like to share with you before we finish this thrift haul. I found this amazing wicker shelf. I've been wanting one for so long and I've seen them on the marketplace, like Facebook marketplace. And by the time I ask about them, they're gone. So I was so excited to be able to find this at the thrift store today. And it was funny because somebody was bringing it in and donating it as I was going into the store. So I knew I was like, I want that shelf. And um, I went up and I asked them how much it was and they said they hadn't priced it yet. And I said, okay, well I can wait. I really would like to buy it. The person was like, you could have just stopped me outside and I would have given, given it to you. And I was like, no, I want people to be able to benefit from my purchase. And it's actually run through this, this thrift store is run through the Mental Health Association. So you guys know that's something that's very important to me. And I was happy to just be able to support that organization through the purchase of this item. So I love it. It's so pretty. It's just like one of those holy grail finds that I've been looking for for so long. And I can't wait to use it. It's just so, so beautiful.
Thank you for watching today's video. I am so excited that I've been able to share with you 170 different thrifting videos. I have that playlist linked above if you would like to see all of my thrifting videos. I also have a garage sale playlist. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Also share with me what kind of stuff you guys have been finding. I would love to hear what kind of stuff you guys have been thrifting. Share pictures of your thrift finds with me on Facebook at Thrifted Living or on Instagram at Thrifted Living YouTube. I would love to feature your thrift finds in my videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!